We uh, uh, had conducted this uh, Checkmate 32 study, which is a phase 1-2 trial in we the Western patients, so only uh, U.S. and Europe, and uh, we presented efficacy results at last year's ASCO, which w were promising, and today uh, at, a, at the Congress I presented the uh, updated survival toxicity and efficacy data. So this was a three-arm uh, study uh, and the patients were assigned to receive nivolumab 3 mg per kg, nivolumab 1, ipilimumab 3, or nivolumab 3, ipilimumab 1. Patients were uh, enrolled irrespective of PDL1 status, so both PDL1 positive tumors and negative tumors uh, were uh, permitted to enter. Uh, and the PDL1 status was assessed in the tumor by the DACO assay, so it was tumor staining only, not uh, the stroma. Uh, patients must have progressed on at least one prior line of therapy. The primary endpoint was response rate, with secondary endpoint included survival, overall survival and progression-free survival, and then exploratory endpoints included PDL1 status, EBV, MSI status, which these data will be presented at a separate Congress. What we uh, demonstrated is across three uh, cohorts, the uh, the uh, majority of the patients were actually G-junction esophageal tumors as opposed to the gastric cancer, which is most uh, distal gastric cancer most commonly seen in Asia. So in U.S., uh, the, there's more proximal tumors and G-junctions and uh, in so is in uh, Europe, and that's what we saw in our cohort. And additionally, what was interesting is that there were uh, heavily pretreated patients. Almost 45% of patients across all the groups received three or more lines of therapy. So these are patients who, in whom otherwise there would be no other options but to go on a best supportive care. In terms of PDL1 positivity, it was rel relatively rare uh, compared to um, some of the data that was presented from the keynote studies where the uh, PDL1 positivity was assessed in the primary tumor and the, um, and the stromal tissue. Here, the PDL1 status was assessed only in the tumor by the DACO assay, and only approximately a third of the patients were PDL1 positive, uh, and two thirds were PDL1 negative. The patients went on to receive nivolumab monotherapy or a combination of nivolumab and pilumumab. And uh, what was noted uh, and was very interesting is that the uh, both PDL1 positive and PDL1 negative patients responded. And uh, in the waterfall plots that we showed, uh, you know, the data is really uh, uh, striking that PDL1 negative patients do respond as well. Um, but since the uh, uh, PDL1 positive patients are relatively rare, you know the differences in outcome between PDL1 negative and PDL1 positive patients. There's hard; uh, it's hard to draw any specific uh, conclusions because, you know, the, the numbers are so small. But it's hypothesis generating at best. The response rates do uh, appear to be slightly higher, and overall the survival benefit and um, or the survival. Um, you know, duration it appears to be higher in PDL1 positive patients, but it, it's it's too hard to assess uh, based on the small numbers. And uh, certainly, since PDL1 negative patients also respond, you know, th those drugs are an option in them as well. In terms of the question whether or not uh, you know monotherapy is sufficient or combination therapy is sufficient. Our trial was not designed to answer that uh, question. 